All right. Give you guys some time to come in quickly, quickly, briefly, briefly. All right, let me get adjusted. Okay. Well, without much further ado, hello, everyone, beautiful people. This is your friend, your sister, your girl, Tahiri Divine. Also go by Diana, the metaphysical midwife, where we talk about practical spirituality, merging the, merging the bridge between our spiritual and physicality so that we can live the wholeness of our being. Today is uh, January. Oh, good. I don't even know what the date is today, but I know we are in coming into the dark moon in Capricorn. So I want to talk uh, uh, briefly about the message that was come that came to me during this time. So as you guys know, I love working with the moon, moon magic. And this year, particularly with 2021, we are in a, uh, a, a wonderful time of manifestation. With this dark moon being the first new moon, dark moon of 2021, the dark moon is representation of the womb, the cosmic womb. Um, this energy is really picking up from the full moon that we had some weeks back in um, Cancer, and it's just it's picking up and building on that. Good morning, Grand Rising. Hello, hello, Danny. Hello, Jay. Hello, Raven. Hello. So we're talking about the dark moon, and this is actually a wonderful time to be in because this this energy is calling on spiritual maturity. This is about setting down not just the foundations, but what have we already laid as a foundation in our life, whether it be in our spiritual practice, in our health, our finances, our relationships, the way we connect to our own emotional nature. It is about taking on ownership of self and being in um, leadership of spiritual maturity. So this is really um, calling for us to go inward. Um, the dark moon, typically we say set intentions. This right here is not so much about setting intentions, but it's about being intentional on the intentions that have already sat. Because we're still in winter, we're still um, in a season of rest and, re and renewal right now. So what areas in our life do we need to start shedding some letting go and being at ease with ourselves? Um, the word that came to me really is spiritual maturity. Um, 2020 has been a, a year of growth for a lot of us and just in our life in general. So what have you been doing well in? What have you laid some groundwork that is like, yes, you can really pat yourself on the back for. And then also reflect on the areas that need to be um, worked on. Where are some opportunities of growth for self? Okay. Is it the way that I communicate with people? Is it the way that I take better care of my own health? Where is that falling in line for you as it pertains in being more mature and owning and self-governing of yourself? Um, that's another word that's becoming a self-governance, self-regulation. Saturn rules Capricorn. And we know Saturn's all about putting that structure in place. Capricorn is being the greatest within the structure that they've been created for self. So where are you creating that structure? Where have you already created that structure? And where do you need to start nurturing this area? The dark moon, again, is like I said, is representation of a womb. So think about it. When we're in the womb, we are actually incubating, right? We're actually resting. We're actually being still and we're allowing the nutrients to come to us. We're allowing the downloads to fill us up. Ah, need to be more self-disciplined. Okay. So it's about in small doses. It's about recognizing our cycles too. Like, okay, am I in a cycle of renewal or am I in a cycle of, of, of restoration? Am I in a cycle of destroying? There, there's some things need to be destroyed. So it's about recognizing where you are in your cycle and taking small doses of change. Typically what happens, typically when January 1st or that January time frame, it's about that new me, new, new energy. But is it really about newness of energy? Is it really about sparking, sparking out on something new? Or is it already taking what you already have and refining that? So for you, you, you Jaria, you're saying it's more self-disciplined. Where are you being called to be more disciplined? And what does that actually look like? What is the structure that you can create or continue to nurture to ensure that you're having those go reaching those marks of what discipline looks like for self? Oh my goodness, I love that that's coming up for a lot of us. Um, a lot of us too are coming up to slow down. Where are you being called to say, hey, be at ease? It's not about biting more that you could chew. It's not about 
jumping full forward. We're not in spring. We're not in airy season yet. All right. We're still very much on the grounding. Mars, um, the planet Mars last week left Aries and went into Taurus. So more of that earth energy, more of that steady pacing. Um, I like to take this as a time of, are you filling yourselves up? Where do we need to continue to fill in those areas in ourselves, those voids, or maybe the places that we didn't pay as much attention to, maybe the places that we were um, bypassing because you were working on some other things. But now that you have gained a grasp of how to, there's other areas in life, what pockets or areas in our lives that we need to now start bringing some nurturance in? Do I need to start putting some fertilizer, some water, some attention to, some redirecting, right? Um, we're seeing that happen play out in our in our world right now. There's a redirecting of information where do we want to go to get information certain um social media platforms weren't are not working for us anymore based on how it's being regulated so it's either regulate self or or or, or allow something else to regulate you right so it's it's taking ownership of yourself and ownership of the areas that we may not have grasped as well in 2020 right but then 2021 is giving us a, a glimpse of hey this particular place Maybe it could be for some, it's a finance. It's like, okay, 2020 for a lot of people was a very financially abundant year. So like, oh, wow, I, I manifest all this money. But do I know how to transmute this manifestation into wealth, right? Do I know how to transmute this energy into expanding my, my economic status, my financial security? Where areas are we calling to be more applicable, right? Applying our knowledge, applying that. And I like to call wisdom the right application of knowledge. Now that you have gathered this information, how are you applying it? What areas do you need to place, start put, being more practical in? Um, um, so it's, it's again, it's, it's, it's not just looking at things from an esoteric, but looking how it's playing out in our physical form. So like a lot of these, it could just really be your health that you're saying, okay, you know, I was doing really great on this area. For some people, maybe cutting meat out your diet, maybe cutting candy, sodas. You did great, but now spirit's saying, okay, let's take it up a notch. Let's add a physical movement with that. So it, it's being open and receptive to see where you've done really well at and what areas can you do better or, or where we have opportunities of growth. So this, this Capricorn energy is not so much about the doing, um, especially since it's in a new moon. It's really about being present with where you can set some new changes or just say maybe do something differently because it, it never means that we're doing something wrong it's like do i need maybe i can refine what i've already have put in place for myself so be open to spirit as you sit with yourself and just really listen to where your soul is telling you to go at this place at this point are you being called to rest more okay capricorn energy likes to do a lot to, to do a lot of things some of you are just saying hey you know what? Schedule you a nap, okay? Schedule you some time to do a, a, a breakout. Break out from your typical routine and dance, right? Sing, move yourself, walk, meditate, pray. Is your prayer life being called to focus more strongly on? Uh, and what does that look like for you, you know? Uh, it's really about shaping and structuring your life that you are going to manifest the best results. And in doing that, it all goes within going within yourself and being aware of the 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 the, uh, the triggers right this is triggering season right now Capricorn I like to say Capricorn is the king of triggers because because in order to be your best self you have to acknowledge your triggers because your triggers are signs and guides to tell you to be more aware of something hey be aware of this how does this make you feel how does this what what information is coming up right now and so it's a, about allowing those those triggers to come so that we can now utilize that energy and that knowledge and that wisdom to grow and to expand because we can't grow and expand if we're still holding on to oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I did something a little funky there. Um, hey, E-Queen. Hey, Sam. Um, another um, a message that came out that I've heard, too, is about changing the narrative. Um, Capricorn energy 
what I typically get as a, as a narrative Capricorn energy is doing everything on my own. I have to do it myself. I have to do this. I have, to, I have, I have. And it's also saying, yes, you have things that you, it's not about what you have to do. It's about what you get to do. I get to do these things. And then instead of just putting it as just you, change your perspective on how you're looking at a situation. Instead of saying to myself, you know, I have to do this. How about saying, you know what, I welcome people to assist me to get to this goal. So whether it is getting a coach or a, a fitness trainer, a business coach, whatever it is that you need to help you be better, it could be something as simple saying, you know what, telling my spouse I need help in the house, taking care of the house, right? It, it's so practical. This energy is so practical. It's not about just like, okay, me in my spiritual walk. Yes, our spiritual walk is, is just as much as important as our physical day-to-day -day lives. Where in your day-to-day -day life do you need to speak up more and say, hey, to my spouse, to my partner, to the children, to whomever you may be in, in presence with, maybe even an employee, an employer situation saying, you know what? This is an area of responsibility that I've been working on. This is where I need to delegate um, delegate these roles and responsibilities so that I can focus on what makes me best at what I do, right? So it's it's about really taking that energy in and owning self and owning um, your 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 um, ability to regulate. So it's self regulation and regulating responsibilities to others as well. So that's another another role of being a leader and taking ownership and leadership of our lives. So look looking at where that is falling in in your own personal life is really being able to speak truth to power, naming it and claiming it and giving it a different story. Um, I love that because again, the stories that we tell ourselves is what our experiences will be. If we're telling ourselves there's no good men, if we're telling ourselves women ain't nut holes and tricks, if we're telling ourselves, you know, oh man, um, it's so hard for me to keep money in my pocket, we're going to continue to experience what we tell ourselves, the narratives, the stories. So it's about getting away from victim narratives and switching our mindset into what is going to be beneficial. So it's about changing our perspectives. Uh, hey, hey, I see people, people coming in. So where in your life is it that you have to change the narrative in? Is it in your finances? Is it in your um, your relationships? Wherever that falls in line for you is really what this new moon energy is saying. Okay, we're changing our narratives. We're, we're changing the way we look at a situation. I'm being more aware. Spiritual maturity is really being called again. Spiritual maturity and spiritual authority. Are you taking authority over your own life, right? Um, I, I mentioned again with what's happening in social media, there's a lot of regulation happening, right? Whether it's positive, negative, what is being reflected back to us is where do I need to self-govern myself in my communication? Uh, whether it is in in my in my finances, whether it's in my health, whether it's in again, I, I'm I'm hearing a lot of relationships coming up. Where is it that you need to better regulate? Are you need to show up more, or are you need to break away? So sitting with self and really saying, okay, I'm sitting with myself during this dark moon time, and I'm reflecting on what I've been doing well. And what have I already established for myself that's well? And where areas do I need to refine it so that I can continue to grow and expand in these areas here? Um, so that is my new moon message for Capricorn. Um, this is about being your greatest best self. But in order to do that, it's about changing your narrative and speaking truth to power and maturing. Where are we being more mature at? So that is my message for today. You guys can find me on all my social sites as Tahiri Divine. I look forward to working with you all again. Oh, blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys can catch the replay on this. Utilize this energy to really just manifest and not just manifest. It's really about just being. So allow yourself to be what it is that you called yourself to be. Okay. Well, this is your girlfriend, Tahiri Devon. You guys can find me again on all my social sites. Until next time. Peace, peace, peace. Oh, you say you're struggling with this. Oh, I have to run back. No problem, Ming. I'm telling you, you know what? Because you're able to speak to it, that it is an area of opportunity. So don't tell yourself that you're struggling. Tell yourself this is an opportunity of growth that I can set for myself. Again, changing the narrative, changing the way we speak upon a thing, right? Well, okay, guys, I'm heading out. I'll see you all later on. You guys can catch me again live every Monday talking about the moon. Today, we're talking about the new moon and Capricorn. So you guys can recap that. Recap that. Yeah, recap that. And until next time, peace, love.